This is Josh White with JW Math Tutoring. Today's video is going to talk about uh, some updates that College Board made to the Blue Book practice tests, uh, specifically new questions that have been added to some of the math tests. So let's go ahead and take a look. But life is a dream the calculus could never predict. So this video is going to talk about uh, some changes that have happened very recently to the Blue Book app. Specifically, uh, College Board has added some new questions to both uh, the math and reading and writing sections. Um, now, for the math sections, they basically just took out two problems and they replaced them with two new problems. And they did this on uh, practice tests one through three only. They did not change practice test four at all. And all the changes were done in module 2B, the harder of the two second modules. So basically, there's six new questions that are in practice tests one through three that weren't there before. And there are six old questions that, you know, were there before but are not there now. It appears these changes happened July 23rd through um, Thursday, July 25th because this was first noticed on Thursday the 25th um, and I had a student complete one of these practice tests on Monday July 22nd and that student had completed the old uh, version still had the old questions in it so sometime again between Tuesday July 23rd Thursday July 25th is when these changes went into effect now for the reading and writing sections um, I'm not sure exactly yet uh, how many questions have been changed there were reports that on at least practice test one, uh, there was like a question that was just removed um, and there were new questions added, but there wasn't a question added in that place, which m means that like some of the numbers ended up changing. In other words, like they took out question 16, but they didn't put in a new question 16, like the old question 15 became 16 and then 14 became 15 and so on. And also there's been reports that some of the questions have the exact same answer choices, but in a rearranged or different order. So as soon as I get more information about reading and writing, um, you know, even though I don't tutor that, not familiar with it really, um, I will uh, try to pass it along though. So why did they do this? Well, there's two reasons. First, these uh, questions, since a lot of them were actually also in the 2A easier second module, um, at least on the, for the math questions I'm talking about specifically. Uh, these could be experimental questions that technically don't count towards your score and they're looking to, you know, kind of like remove them and add some more uh, new experimental questions in for, uh, for, you know, data purposes. Or the other reason, which is the most likely reason, is uh, to try to make practice tests one through three a little bit harder and more like the real you know, official uh, digital SAT exams. Um, because if you look at practice tests one through three and the questions on those, compared to what students in the US took in like the March and May and June exams, um, there's almost a universal opinion that on the math section, the questions were significantly harder, especially on module 2B. So you can see there on the screen, the specific uh, question numbers that were just replaced or swapped out with new questions. So um, Technically, only five of these questions are, are truly new in the sense that one of the questions on practice test one, so number 16 in module 2B, the new question that exists in the uh, Blue Book app, if you take this practice test today, um, is actually from one of the linear non-adaptive paper tests. It's basically from practice test one. It is module one, question 26. Okay. So it's not necessarily a new question as compared to the other five, which appear to be completely brand new. So what does this mean? Basically, it breaks down uh, like this. If you have not yet taken uh, Blue Book practice tests one through three, either all of them or just you know one or more of them, then once you take that practice test, you're going to see these new questions, assuming that you get the second you know harder module. So what you may want to do is complete the old or the removed questions. Um, they're still in the question bank. You know, they've always been in the uh, question bank, um, the College Board's website. But if you want to do additional practice, uh, you could do these basically six questions that have been removed. The way you can get them is either uh, access the link, which is listed on the screen, you know, here, but will also be in the description of the video. So you can get that PDF file, which has all six of the old 
removed questions in it. Or you can look them up in the question bank by using the ID number. Um, you can see the ID number there. The only problem is uh, you would have to know exactly what domain and skill they're in. So I will try to add that information in the description of uh, the video. But you can see the question bank ID numbers um, listed there. Now, if you already have um, taken Blue Book Practice Test 1, 2, or 3, and specifically I'm talking about took them before, you know, la uh, last Tuesday, July 23rd, 2024, then what you should do is definitely complete these uh, new questions, these six new questions, and the way you can access them is you can either uh, go to the PDF link, you know, it's listed on the screen below for the updated questions, or again, it'll be in the description of the video, or you could also go back into Blue Book and you could retake um, whichever test or tests you've already completed. And basically you would just fill in the correct answers on module one and it doesn't have to be all correct, but usually around a minimum 16 or 17 uh, correct would be enough to send you to the harder second module in order to send you to module 2B. Then once module 2B loads, you can go to these specific questions you know, the ones that were replaced for the specific test, and you can see those, uh, you know, these new, and you'll see significantly harder questions. So, like, all of them are generally much more difficult than the ones that they replaced. So you have two options there. I also have links here you can see for the answers for these questions. So if you just want to get the questions from the PDF file, then you can also download the PDF file that has the answers um, so that you don't have to go into the Blue Book app or you don't have to go to the question bank to find the answers if you want to check them. Um, so... This is pretty much it um, regarding uh, you know this information. Uh, there's no announcement or anything from the College Board. It's just basically tutors and uh, you know so on um, started noticing uh, that a student you know they're working through a practice test with a student and a student had a different question you know a different answer than um, what the tutor saw from their end because a lot of tutors you know like me work off. PDF files of the Blue Book practice test rather than having to log in and to, you know, access the test in Blue Book every single uh, time you want to work with someone. So this was noticed, you know, and then I went through Thursday night myself, checked uh, practice test one through four, identified these six, you know, new questions that replaced, um, you know, the ones that were previously there got screenshots of them, compiled them into PDF files, uploaded them to the links that you see below. And then after that, of course, I went back, uh, solved, uh, solved all the questions as well. You know, that's how I got the answers for them. And then I went back and grabbed the old, you know, the questions that have been removed and also compiled them into a PDF just so that people would have access to them as well. And of course, you know, the answers I already had because they were already worked out, but just made a quick little document with that. And in addition to that, gra uh, looked up in an Excel spreadsheet, I have the question bank ID as well. So anyways, uh, that is all the information to know at this time. Again, if I get uh, news information about the changes to the reading and writing section, I think it's going to take a lot longer to go through and identify all the um, changes for that. I will pass it along um, as soon as I have it. Otherwise, I uh, hope you like this video. Please do give it a thumbs up. You know, Subscribe to my channel. Sign up for notifications as well. And again, be on the lookout for more, you know, digital SAT math related content.